Now let us discuss about binary search using JavaScript. First, let us create a form. We know that a form is created with the help of the form tag element. In order to perform operations on the form, we use this name attribute. Let name of the attribute is binary. Binary. Next, let us have a label. Enter key element. Enter key element. Uh, next, uh, let us create a text box uh, so that uh, we have to enter the corresponding uh, key element in the text box. We know that uh, we will create uh, text box with the help of input tag element. Type is equal to text. Next, name is equal to to perform operations on the uh, text box. Let us use a name called key. Key. Control S. Let us run it. Let us run it. So enter key element. Here we have uh, uh, an extra greater than. Uh, next, uh, we need to display. Uh, we need to display next result. Uh, for displaying the result, use another text box. So copy this data. Control C and paste here. Okay. Enter here. Uh, we need to display the result. Result. So for the second label, name is result. Uh, next, for the second text box. Name is result. Name is result. Uh, next, we need to create a button. Uh, so let us uh, have the button in the uh, next line. So we need to use either uh, break line tag element or paragraph tag element. We know that uh, we will create button with the help of input. And the type value is uh, button. Button value is equal to. Let value is search. Search. Next, we have an event called on click event. So whenever we click on the button, then on click event will be executed. In on click event, let us call a function called binary underscore search. So whenever we click on the button, then binary search function will be called. Okay. Next to close the form tag element. Next to close the form tag element. Next, uh, let us run the application. Uh, so if we click next, we, first we need to enter key element in the first text box. If we click on the search button. If the key element is present in the array, then we will get a message as key element is found in the result box. Otherwise, key element is not found. Okay. Now, we need to uh, define binary search in the script to tag element. So, function, function, binary underscore. So, name of the function is binary underscore search. So, first let us have an array where a is equal to, let elements of the array are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We know that we can perform binary search only when the elements are in ascending order. So that's why I just I entered, I have given the elements in the ascending order. Uh, next, where the initial value of the low is 0, 0. Next, uh, uh, the initial value of high is, high is last element. So in order to get the last index, count number of elements, a dot length minus 1. So 5 minus 1 means 4. So low means 0, high means 4, okay. High means 4. Uh, next, let us uh, read the key element where key is equal to. Here key element will be available in the first two text box. So what is the name of the form? Binary, binary dot. Key element is present in the first two text box. So the text box name is key dot value. So that value will be stored in the key variable, okay. Next, let us have a variable called flag. The initial value of the flag is 0. If flag is 0, we can say that key element is not found. Otherwise, we can say that key element is found. Okay. Next, uh, here the condition is while, while low is less than or equal to high. While low is less than or equal to high. Uh, so, in between low and high only, uh, that key element will be available. So, we need to calculate mid value. So, calculate mid value. The formula for the mid is low plus high by 2. In JavaScript, division operation uh, give floating point number. So if we want only integer part, then we need to perform parse int function. So parse int of low plus high by 2. So it will give only integer quotient. Uh, we have to write three conditions. Um, so if you don't have a perfect on the perfect area on the binary search, uh, just uh, please go through the comments mm -hmm. or uh, uh, go to the description. Already I have uploaded a video on uh, uh, binary search uh, in C language. 
So I will share that link. So please go through that link in order to have the perfect area and the binary search. If you have minimum idea, then uh, this program is enough. Okay. So here, what is the first condition? If key double equal to a of mid, a of mid, then we can say that key element is found. So set flag as one. So flag is equal to one. Uh, if key element is found, then there is no need to set the remaining elements. So use break statement so that uh, we will come out from that loop. The control comes out from the loop. Else if, else if key is less than a of mid, key is less than a of mid. So please refer the description or comment box. I will share uh, binary search using C language. Uh, in C language as well as uh, in uh, JavaScript, the logic is same only. So please refer that link if you don't have the perfect uh, knowledge. So else, else we can say that key element is present in the right half. So mid, mid plus one. So we need to change low value. So low is equal to mid plus one. Next to close the while loop. Next to close the while loop. Next, uh, outside the for loop, check what is flag value. If flag is equal to 1, then we need to display the result. So, binary dot, binary dot, uh, result, second text box name is result. So, binary dot result dot value is equal to, so display the result as key element is found, key element found, key element found. Else, else, display the message as else display the message as if flag is not one then we have to display the result as key element is not found key element is not found so binary dot what is the second text box name uh, yeah here what is the second text box name result only okay uh, so next we need to close the function so close the function so already script and head tag are closed okay so if he is already closed as well as while he is closed. Okay, control S. Now let us run the program. Let us run the program. Let us run the program. Let the key element is 30. Click on the search button. If you observe here, we got output as key element is found. We got output as key element is found. Okay. Why? Because 30 is present in the array. Now let us enter 3. 3 is not present in the array. So we got output as yes. key element is not found. 3 is not present in the array. So that's why we got output as yes. key element is not found. So in this way, we can search uh, whether an element is present in the array or not with the help of the binary search in JavaScript.